Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. So I was actually sitting here and I was editing a video to share with you guys and I realized this video actually needs an intro. So you guys, in today's video, I just wanna share with you guys like the freedom and the liberty that I'm finding with intermittent fasting. As you can see from the title of the video, we're gonna talk about like eating soul food while intermittent fasting and also trying to lose weight because that still is my goal here. So I wanna share with you guys that on Sunday, October 2nd, my husband and I were out walking seven miles and I received this text from my mom. I'll share with you guys here. Good morning. I know that you probably already did your meal prep, but since Angie and Uncle Chet are here, um, I cook collard greens, turkey wings, yellow rice, cornbread, mac and cheese, and we have some butter beans that the kids, and she's like telling me that the kids or my husband could have some if they would like to. So you can see my response here. Where I was like, yes, what time? So first of all, let's just appreciate the fact that my mom knows how dedicated I am to this journey and how well she knows my routine because she knows that usually by Sunday, I'm already done meal prepping or in the process of meal prepping. And secondly, I would just like to appreciate the fact that intermittent fasting gives me so much flexibility, liberty, and freedom that I was able to like open my eating window and take her up on her offer. So what I would like to share with you guys is that, as I mentioned, we were out walking at that time. So we ended up, I ended up breaking my window. I'll show you guys here. Um, at 17 hours and 58 minutes. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, if I were still early in my fasting window, like let's say if it had only been um, three hours or five hours or so, what I would have done in this case was I still would have gone and allowed my family to enjoy the food and then I would have just taken a plate home. So I am really loving intermittent fasting. I feel my diet is pretty clean about 90% of the time and intermittent fasting is giving me the flexibility, you know, that 10%, that 10% of the time to not have to worry about, you know, enjoying food with my family, particularly soul food in this case. Um, so I also want to share that this was on Sunday. So this, so I enjoyed this meal after my weigh in cause I weigh in Sunday mornings. So I guess next week we'll see like, if this affected my journey at all but if you guys look back on the channel like for instance i'll link the video here of what i ate for thanksgiving last year lots of soul food and i actually lost weight that week and then i'll also link a few videos in the description box from when i go on vacation like typically even before i became a serious intermittent faster i would fast whenever i was on vacation and i would see and notice that i was still able to lose weight within those weeks as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just need to do a quick intro to let you know what this is all about. And give this video a big thumbs up for number one, my mom cooking, and number two, for her giving her little speech at the end. All right, talk to you soon. Why does it look so cloudy? Well, they don't do eggs, do they? Vegans don't do eggs, do they? Mm-mm. They don't do eggs, they don't do meat. Hey guys, so I'm currently at my mom's house and she cooked some good soul food, some Sunday dinner. And I just wanna share with you guys how I'm so thankful for intermittent fasting because I don't have to be as careful with what I eat. So let me show you what I'm about to enjoy. We've got some mac and cheese. She made a lot of it too. Ma, who's gonna eat all this food? Got some cornbread. I don't know who cut. Okay, so if I had to guess, the reason the cornbread looks like this is because most people in my family like the edges. If I had to guess, that's what happened there. Because this is like oddly cut. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, some turkey wings. And some butter beans. Some yellow rice. And some collard greens. All right, I need to make my plate and I am about to grow. <laughs> so in full transparency, this will probably be my only like main meal of the day and then I'll probably have a snack later. With intermittent fasting, I don't focus as much on like cutting my calories. Like I still try to get in like my calories for the day, but just within a certain window of time. That's it. All right guys, so here is my plate. I have some 
rice and turkey wings going in for the mac and cheese i pay for that later but i'll be okay and some greens and beans i think i'm gonna skip i'm gonna skip the cornbread not because i don't like cornbread but i just don't do well with bread probably not gonna do well with that but it's worth it yeah, try it. <laughs> this one? You are? No, I'm the zero. Oh, I'm laughing at you because you put your plate on there. Uh huh. The aftermath. So you were walking in the. Thanks, mom, for the food. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You want to say something to guys, my friends? I'm glad you guys enjoyed the food. Hello, gang. Let's keep yay. Um, congratulating Felicia on her weight loss journey. Tell them to She's like, share, and subscribe. Job. Tell them to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> One day I'm going to get there. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am now back at home, and it's been like one hour and 47 minutes. I wish I could show you, but it doesn't show up. Maybe. No. It's been an one hour and 47 minutes since I opened up my eating window and I thought I was gonna come home and like have a salad but honestly I feel kind of like stuffed I ate a lot and I'm pretty sure um, the mac and cheese has a lot to do with it because I don't really eat pasta um, but I did today so anyways um, I did decide we still don't have internet at our house you guys know here in Florida hurricane and um, yeah, so we still don't have internet. I cannot believe that my camera just sold me out like that. So I don't have any more space on my memory card. So I think I may have one for backup. I think I do. But if I don't, I have to purchase another one. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera. I actually decided that I do want coffee. So usually, this is left from this morning. Usually I just drink black coffee whenever I'm fasting. But since I'm still in my eating window, I'm actually going to have a little bit more coffee. I need to edit a video before um, I go to the coffee shop. So I'm going to have a little bit of this half and half. And as I was saying, I do need to edit a video so that I can go to Panera's and upload it. Um, since I still don't have internet service and I need to do some more work and I've got a ton of work I need to do online today so I'll do that at Panera's as well so I'm gonna take my nice coffee and head into my office and get some work done and maybe um, like in an hour or so or two hours I'll head over to the coffee shop um, and then after I have this, I will close out my window for today and then I'll fast for at least another 16 hours from there. Do I feel like I'm starving myself? No. Do I feel like I got enough calories for today? Um, for those of you that don't know, like soul food. So I am pretty sure in that one plate that I'm close to I don't want to say 2,000 calories, but I feel like it's pretty close because a good mac and cheese has like multiple cheeses, a significant amount of cheese, butter, eggs, milk, the pasta, um, collard greens. They had some form of like an olive oil or something. Um, they were seasoned with meat, so I had a protein source there. The butter beans, like good soul food beans, has like all kinds of seasonings and butter <laughs> um, and just all the fixings. So when you think of like on a day-to-day -day basis, I typically eat very um, like plain. Like I just have maybe like salmon or chicken, some veggies, a salad. My meals are very simple and it's intentional. Like I don't use a lot of ingredients because using minimum ingredient ingredients also, not only am I saving like money by not using a ton of um, ingredients but i'm also saving on calories but with soul food you go all in <laughs> and you add well, all the good stuff that makes it good right like so all the butter and the seasonings and the um cheese and and whatever else you got to add the more fat fat adds um 
fat increases the taste and the satiety of food. So, um, but now again, because I'm doing intermittent fasting, I don't feel guilty for indulging in those types of foods with my family once a week, once a month, whenever, because on the day-to-day -day basis, your girl's diet's pretty clean. And um, yeah, so I'm just really enjoying this journey. Um, I think that intermittent fasting, it's just so on brand for me to be able to keep things simple, um, to enjoy the foods that I'm actually eating, to enjoy the time with my family. It's just, it's amazing. It really is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe like my mama said, and I'll see you in the next video. And also, if you're seeing this video on the day that it's uploaded, Thursday, October 6th, I just want you to know that I will be doing a live Q&A on Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I would love for you to join me there as well. Bye.